Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hello if you are new. My name is Jess and today I'm going to be walking you through my full minimal TV and film media tracker. This is my most up-to-date media tracker. I have a bunch of other videos on this channel for my previous versions, but this one has the most up-to-date Notion features, including automations and just updated filters and formulas. This is the main dashboard, as you can see. I've kept everything super minimal. There is a main dashboard of links on the side. There's just a couple of simple graphics to make it a little bit aesthetic. And then we have the important stuff. We have a currently section. So we have three different views in here. I have my currently watching, which will display obviously the name of whatever it is, the genre, what season you're on, what episode you're up to next, and your progress through the show. I'll show you how these two work a bit more once we actually dive into the data and what is included in each media. I then have a with Benjin view, which for you will just be like with partner. So this is because me and my husband watch very different shows, but there are some that we watch together. So I want to just keep them a little bit separate. So I have a view for that. It's a simple little checkbox that you can tick. If this isn't something you want to track, feel free to remove it. And then I have a paused section, and this is because I am shocking at starting a show and then kind of forgetting about it. So this is here to remind me to go back and finish these shows. But the episode tracking especially is very handy to remember where you are up to. Underneath we have a year to date. This is very similar to my book tracker if you watched that walkthrough that I just recently released. It will show you how many shows you're currently watching and it will display how many films and shows you've watched throughout the entire year. Underneath then we have the full library. So very simply we have the title of the media, the checkbox as I mentioned for whether it's with your partner or not, the type whether it's television or film, the platform it's on, the year it was released, the season you're currently on, and then of course a status. So I have quite a few options for this so we have ready to start of course a bunch of different in progress options and then a bunch of complete options there's then a genre gallery which we will go through in more detail on its standalone page a rating section of course the start and completion date so that the formula i've created can work out your watch time so this is just here this will let you know how long it's taken you to complete a series obviously this isn't super accurate if there's been like breaks in between seasons and unfortunately there isn't any way to actually like cut that out but start date to completion date it will work out that time for you the year tracker of course so that it pulls into your year to date view and then also a new feature i've added is rewatches so you just click how many times you've watched this show through add more if you get more than five watches of a certain show just clicking into one you'll be able to see all of that data again i have some of it stored in the top section so it's very easy to get to and then i have a lot of different drop downs so if you want to close these off you can and just make everything a bit more clean this template is empty so it's not the best one to show but all media will come with this template included where you can add a cover image a little description of the show, add any thoughts, add any quotes and notes. Again, exactly the same as my book tracker. So in general, archive will automatically tick when you've completed a show, so you don't have to worry about that one. It's the partner checkbox. I have a media status view as well. So this is quite handy to know whether a show is still airing complete or cancelled, the genres and the release year. The watch time again is for the start and completion date and then it will work out the watch time for you. And then the series is where you can keep track of exactly where you are up to within the series. So I mark the total episodes the series has and the current episode I am up to. This will work out the next episode for that little view we saw previously and it will show this little progress in numbers and then also a progress bar underneath. Ignore the para section once again this is attached to my second brain and if you want a full walkthrough of the second brain that is also on my channel. I'm just popping into adolescence to show you what it looks like when it's a bit more filled out. I pretty much just copy and paste the data from Wikipedia usually. Get this from wherever suits you best and again if you don't want to do this it's not necessary I just sort of like to have it. Popping back down to the main library I completely forgot to mention that there are multiple views for you in this section too. We have a visual view which is my favorite. This one will display obviously the cover images you've attached to each media type, just the genre and your status. There is a ready to start section so you can see everything that you haven't watched yet. There is a watched section which is sorted by date. So this is working from your most recent watch to your least recent watch I guess. Again we'll show you the genre and your watch time for this show or movie. 
waiting on next season again is a very handy view to sort of keep track of the shows that are still airing but they're not out yet and then i have a separate view for tv shows and a separate view for films again just in case you want to see them on their own in the dashboard we have a log media button this will automatically open a new page for you this is quite handy again if you're on mobile you can just quickly log something if you're sitting on the couch you don't want to be at your computer pop the name in pop the start date and fill in everything else later as it suits you the yearly archive once again is exactly the same as my book tracker this will just keep a history of the shows that you've watched this will display your watch list again in order of when it was viewed and you can just see a little overview of everything you've watched throughout that year again yours will look a little bit different to mine because i'm walking you through the second brain version so that you can see it filled out but the premise is the same. Also, your view will only be from 2025 to 2028, I think. I've obviously been using this template for a really long time, so mine just goes back a little bit further. We then have the genre gallery, which is one of my favorite pages to really see a breakdown of your favorite, I guess, genres. And I have updated the filters to now automatically work out if what is in this genre is a film or a TV show, as you can see. So for drama, 17 films, 53 TV shows, 70 total medias. So this is a formula I've made just to break it down and make it a little bit more clear. And again, it will pull in a view of all of the media that is attached to that genre so that you can see it all in one go. If you want to add any new genres, just click new page, update the name to what the genre is, add a cover image, add an icon, and then this template automatically pulls in where it will pull the media for you that is attached to that genre. So you don't need to do anything other than add in the data. There's also a list view in case you prefer to view it in that format rather than the visual view. We then have a notes and quotes page, which again is very similar to my reading tracker where it will just pull in any notes and any quotes that you've saved attached to the media themselves. I obviously have not used this page very much, but if you click into it, it will let you know what media it was attached to. Also, if you click into it itself, this will be displayed down in the notes section. So you can create the note within the media tracking item, or you can do it from the notes and quotes page. It really does not matter. And one of the key differences between the book tracker and my media tracker is I have two very specific pages one for Halloween, one for Christmas. This is because I find it quite nice to get into the spirit at these times of year, and I want to keep track of those kinds of media. So for Halloween, of course, we have all of our favorite Halloween movies. This is automatically pulled in based off if you have marked the genre as Halloween, and if you have marked the rating as a favorite. That's all you have to do, it will automatically show here. And then there is a visual list and a table list of anything with the genre marked as Halloween. And again, this is just super handy when you get to end of September, start of October, and you want to get in the spirit. Here are all your Halloween movies in one place. Christmas is set up in exactly the same way, except that you would need to mark it, obviously, as genre Christmas. And again, the favorites need to be marked as a favorite, but in this list down here, it'll just be anything that is attached to Christmas. And then we have the entire library page. This is exactly the same as the other one. There is just one page where this database lives. Please do not delete this because this will mess with the entire template. So as I mentioned with my book tracker, this is a very simple template in theory. There is just a lot working in the background with the filters and the formulas to make it really useful for you. But it is so easy to use and so intuitive so i really hope you enjoy it if you have any comments at all about this template please post them down below it is now available in my etsy shop as my minimal media tracker i have also themed trackers and i have my original the big screen media tracker as mentioned this one is the most up to date but it is also the most simple so if you prefer something a little more aesthetic those will work pretty similar and I have videos on all of them as well. One quick thing that I did not walk through is this template does include automations. There are three. One here is that if you mark the status to rewatching or watching, this will uncheck the archive box if it happens to be checked. When you mark a status to waiting on next season, it's automatically going to set the archive to check. This is because the checked box is used in a bunch of the formulas, so it needs to do this for that data to be accurate. So now you don't have to do that. This template will do it for you. 
And the last one is it will archive the completed media. It will, if you mark it to dropped or watched, it will set the archive to checked and it will set the completion date for you to the date that you triggered it. So that's one important thing to remember. If you mark something as watched after the date that you watched it, you will need to go back and update that date because it will set it to the current date from when you updated that status. I hope that makes sense. Let me know in the comments if it doesn't, I can try explain it a bit better. But these three automations come with the template whether you have a paid Notion plan or not. If you don't have a paid Notion plan, you can't edit them but you can remove them if you don't want them. If you have the paid Notion plan, you can update them, you can add more, you can do whatever you like with those. I hope that little walkthrough was helpful for you. I hope it gave you a bit more insight into this template. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. It really supports my channel and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye guys.